Hey folks, Coach Josh Wood here down in Hobart, Tasmania, and thank you very much for taking part in my beginner Mace and Gata course. The very first thing I want to talk about is what is a mace and what kind should you get? Now, when it comes to swinging things around in terms of uh, maces, gatas, clubs, we'll take a little look at each one of those. A really short handled implement with weight at the end, we might call a club. A more traditional Indian club tends to be more tapered. I'm a big fan of these stronger grip interchangeable ones where I can change the weights. Uh, just allows me a bit more versatility. But any kind of club, if that's what you want to swing, is going to be great to use. Aside from clubs, we have what would more typically be seen as a mace or a gada. So a gada is the traditional Indian term. Uh, mace is the more westernized term. Very similar. Uh, this is one that I've made using a bowling ball and a pipe. Uh, and this is more in line with what we'd consider a gata. Now gata is usually a stone at the end of a bamboo stick and I have a range of those as well. This is one of my favorites. So a gata tends to be more weight at the end. So the handle tends to be very light in relation to the weight at the end, which means it's going to swing harder. The balance is slightly different. So I'll use this one a lot. The gata style is probably my favorite style of mace. But the most versatile I've found is a short mace. Now these aren't as common, which is why I had to make this one. Uh, this style of mace is also called a bulava, which is a European name. Uh, and it's found in a few different places across Europe, a few different names, but essentially it's a short handled mace. It tends to be a much shorter arc when you swing. So a longer handle means a longer arc. A shorter handle means a shorter one. And practically all that means is that it's gonna take less time for a shorter mace to go from one side to the other in its pendulum swing and more time for a longer mace. A longer handle is going to give you more torque at a lighter weight, meaning it's going to pull you off balance harder once that weight hits at the end of its pendulum or arc. Whereas this will allow for a shorter, quicker turnaround, which I find to uh, have a little bit more carryover to things like combat sports and grappling. The mace itself, was originally, of course, a weapon. And then it became part of the physical training curriculum of Indian and Persian wrestling schools. So you might come from a few different backgrounds on that, whether it's an Indian background, Persian background, if it's a more European background, you might see shorter maces most, most commonly. But the steel mace itself is an incredibly versatile tool and it's becoming more and more popular and you can see it in gyms all over the world. So whatever style you wanna get into, pick one you like, get the most out of it. But when you're starting out, go a little bit lighter than you think, because it's a lot easier to learn the technique on a lighter mace and then move up to a heavier mace than it is to start with a heavier mace thinking you'll grow into it, which you can. It just tends to be a lot harder to get the technique right because you're also trying to develop your strength while you're learning the technique. So it's just a recommendation. You don't have to listen to it. But if you're just buying a mace or a club, start a little bit lighter than you think get really proficient with the technique, and then go a little bit heavier. And then start playing around with handle types. Just play around with one for now, get used to it, branch out from there. So let's dig into some basic mace warmups. 